All right, Council. We may resume. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I recall the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Finance. Um, Mr. Jalu, you're reminded of your oath. Would, please, please sit down. Better, we may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Mr. Jalo, when you were here the last time, you were here with regard to the Mahindra tractors. Yes. And um, we had requ requested that you, we had requested that you provide the facility agreement because we didn't have the signature page. Do you have it now? Yes. Can we have the facility agreement first? Let's look at it. collect the document from the witness. It's dated 8 November 2005? Yes. Okay. All right. I see this one is a signed copy. You also had um, the documents relating to the um, debt servicing? Yes. Okay. Could you remind us? You said that the, the loan was for five, 
point hammer. Give us the exact figure again. Uh, the actual loan itself uh, is five million eight hundred and thirty-three thousand seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. Um, the facility refers to six point seven million dollars. Yes. Um, is there any reason why the entire facility was not utilized? Uh, I don't know. So I didn't get that? I didn't get your answer. I don't know. You don't know? Who was the permanent secretary at the time? Would you know? Abdul Ture. Abdul. Abdul Ture? Yeah. Mr. Jalo, please speak up. We are not hearing you. Okay. Please. was Abdul Tuwe. Do you know whether he's within the jurisdiction? Do you know whether he's within the jurisdiction? Yes. Where? Uh, he's currently at the United Nations Development Program Office. Uh, UNDP yes. in Gambia? Yes. All right. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about this, this facility? Uh, maybe before we proceed, you also requested for the instrument of ratification. Instrumental ratification yes. from the National Assembly. Uh, this is signed by the President. It's signed by? The President. The President? Yes. All right. Let's, let's, let's see it. All right, thank you. This instrument seems to indicate that it went to the National Assembly on the 14th of December 2005. Uh, normal, normally then, there is a time lapse between the time it, it's ratified by the Assembly and the, the time that it is signed by the President. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to confirm for the record yes. that the instrument indicates that it went to the National Assembly on the 14th day of December 2005. Y yes. And the instrument was issued on the 26th January 2006. Exactly. What else do you have for us? I have some documentation here relating to uh, correspondence uh, uh, between uh, different government institutions. I can share with you uh, those correspondence. The correspondence relating to different uh, government institutions? This one is... Uh, Sorry, you said correspondence relating to different government institutions? Yes. Regarding this matter? Yes, exactly. Yes, what do you want to share regarding those correspondence? Yeah, this is from the Maintenance Services Agency and it's addressed to the Ministry of Works. Uh, and it has to do with a... What date is it? This is June 2007. Okay. And it's a progress <laughs> report relating to the implementation of the project itself. It's a report relating to the implementation of the project. Of the tractor assembly project. It, was it after the um, implements were received or before? Sorry? Was it after the no, equipment was received? No, no, no. This is received? during the implementation of the project. What project? Uh, the tractor assembly project. The tractor assembly project? Yes. Yes, but you have to give us context. Did the tractors arrive and um, this is an implementation of the project after the tractors arrived, or, or what? We need to understand the nature of the document. Uh, it's actually, they gave an update relating to uh, tractors that have been... Uh, Sorry, this, say that again. It has to do with uh, containers that were imported into the country, and then the, the eventually the unloading of those containers and the assembly of the components of those uh, equipment into tractors. All right. And the, and the different types of 
tractors that were assembled. Is there any indication of how many tractors actually came? Uh, yes, uh, they have also provided here update on the tractors that have been ordered and uh, delivered, I guess. I did not look at it in detail. I see. You mm. cannot, okay, you cannot tell us how many tractors actually came. Uh, but I have uh, ordered correspondence that have uh, provided such information. All right. These are all correspondences you found in the file? Yes. Okay. All right. Very well. What else do you have? This is also a correspondence from uh, the maintenance service agency addressed to the Minister of Finance. Uh, informing the ministry that uh, work has been completed on the tractor assembly plant. Work has been completed on? The tractor assembly plant itself. Okay. I guess it has to do with the, the, the structure of the, of the plant. A tractor assembly plant was actually built? Uh, well, this is, uh, it says, this is to inform you that the arrival of the Mahindra engineer from, uh, from India Work on the tractor assembly plant has finally been accomplished, and the following activities were covered during the period, and they list down those activities. Very well. Let's put it together. I'm sure we will, we will call them to explain. Okay. Mm There is also here a, but this uh, letter is not very informative. Uh, well, it's a letter if it's, from if the- it's, If it's not, then it's, it probably is not relevant for us. Yeah, I think so. We just want to be able to understand the circumstances relating to this facility, mm -hmm. which says the facility of 6.7 million and the tractors that actually or all the equipment that arrived first went to the facility and what happened to the equipment. So whatever you have that from your files that can assist us in this regard is what is relevant. Okay. And of course the loan itself and how it was serviced. Okay, uh, this is a correspondence also from the maintenance services agency and is addressed to the Minister of Finance. Uh, and they are updating us on the unloading of uh, the tractors and plowing e equipments at the maintenance services agency. They have also provided uh, a list of tractor containers that have been received by the MSA from the 16th of March to 27th April 20, 2007. 15 March 20? March up till April of 2017. 20, 2007? Uh, sorry, 2007, yes. Okay. All right. This is a letter from uh, KGI addressed to the Minister of Finance. KGI? Yes, an address to the Minister of Finance. Can, does, does it pro give its full name or is it just KGI? Uh, it's just can, KGI International, that is what I have seen. Okay, here. very well. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's a letter <laughs> requesting for information uh, on the Mahindra Tractors. On the? Mahindra Tractors account. Please, uh, maybe read the letter, that might be more helpful. It's addressed to Ministry of Finance from yeah, KDI and says International. Request for information on the Mahindra Tractors account. So, following our meeting, Mr. Seka and Saja Kamara, on the 8th of August 2009, as per the above reference, I hereby formally write to request for all relevant information and documentations that are required for our custody as a company, as a company handling supplies and or financiers accounts. We would be grateful to gather all the information relating to the cost price, 
cost price per tractor per type, the relative margins per tractor, and the liability accounts that may arise during the period, during the period taking into account the, the relationship with Exim Bank. I'm sorry, it's not very legible. So well, yes, but well, what do you understand from that letter? Uh, they, are, they are trying to have, get information relating to uh, the 866,000 US dollars unutilized from the project because only 5.8 million dollars was utilized from the project. So they wanted to get confirmation about this uh, why they balance. Are, isn't that a private company? Yes, it is a private so company. So why were they asking for information regarding the unutilized portion of the facility? No, it is not stated here. The reason is not stated. Is there any reply to that letter? Uh, I have not seen any reply from the ministry. Hmm. They also indicate that they are the company doing what? Uh, they said we. Uh, what was what was their connection to the Mahindra tractors, as, as per that letter? Uh, they said they are the company handling the supplies. I see. Yeah, and the finances. And the finances. Financial account. That is the way they That's what it, it says. Yeah. All right. Can you add it to the bundle we are, we are compiling for the commission? Uh, this is also a letter from uh, MSA addressed to KGI, the CEO of Kanilai Group International, I guess, KGI. And it's an update, essentially, from the Maintenance Services Agency to the CEO of Kanilai, Kanilai Group International. So they have essentially provided a list of tractors, trailers and dismounted bow. I don't know what this means. So uh, they have provided uh, the quantity that they have assembled so far and uh, the supplies that were delivered and the outstanding stock relating to these mm, different types of uh, tractors. What, what is trailer. the date? Uh, this was dated January 2008. From MSG to KGI? Yes, to KGI. Providing a list of tractors assembled and did you say supplied? Uh, a list of uh, Mahindra tractors or the tractors that were assembled and <laughs> delivered to KMC. Delivered to? KMC. Carnifying Municipal Council? Yes. Mm. And they have provided a list of that. Right. Can I have a look at that one? All right. right let, let's move on. <coughs> so basically, looks like about uh, 162 tractors assembled. And then there is a list of, yes, what appears to be tractors delivered to KMC. Carnifying Municipal Council, it says. All right. Received by Badujasi, dispatched by Ismail Asisi. I think that's what I see. All right, mm -hmm. thank you. A similar letter was also written, uh, not exactly the same contents, uh, but a similar update was also provided to the Ministry of Finance. Uh, this was in uh, September 2007. They have given 
a similar description relating to this. A description in terms of the number of uh, tractors and trailers that were assembled and uh, supplied and the outstanding balance of. How, how many tractors this time? Uh, these are different types of tractors and <laughs> trailers. They have not indicated the total. Who were they delivered to or supplied to? And no, they have not specified that. Is it, there's no attachment this time about? Uh, this attachment is just a performer invoice. Addressed to whom? Uh, this is KGI. All right. We will we'll get the answers. Okay. Uh, maybe I can read. Yeah. This is also a letter addressed to Ministry of Works uh, by the Maintenance Services Agency. And it's giving them a list of uh, 25 tractors uh, that, were, uh, that were supplied to Carnifin Municipal Council. Again. And the last, uh, uh, the last sentence is saying, the, 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 the first lot of 17 sets shall be delivered, followed by the remaining lot of eight sets, in view of the terms of the contract, contract with documents signed between KGI and KMC. Very well. Uh, this is a letter addressed to the Minister of Finance by the Maintenance Services Agency, and they are sort of uh, providing the Ministry an update uh, in terms of the number of containers that we are imported in, into the country and the contents that are contained in those containers. This is a letter from the Exim Bank of India and is addressed to the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance. <coughs> uh, and it contains the approval of the, uh, the Exim Bank approval of the contract between the Minister of Finance as the importer and, the, and Mahindra and Mahindra Limited of Mumbai. Very well. This is a back-to-office report from the official <laughs> delegation uh, that visited India in, 2000, in April of 2006. And one of the objectives of the mission was to, that is, to visit two companies, that is Solanika and Mahindra. Okay, that was before the contract was actually signed. What date is it? April 2006. Okay. All right. Thank you. This is a letter from MSA addressed to the CEO of KGI International. Date? July 2007. And it is sales of tractor slash implements. Following your visit and a meeting held at KGI regarding the following agenda items. So they listed uh, about eight agenda items. No, well, that's fine. We, you don't have to list them. What's the purpose of the letter? Did they sell? Well, they were selling tractors? Yeah, they say sales of tractors. Yes. What, can you tell us what the, what the report, uh, it is what is the return? It is, is there very, a return on the sales? It is very scanty. The information is very scanty. They just listed the agenda items on the letter. So we don't know how many tractors were sold? Uh, no, uh, the attachment contains a standard performer invoice. I guess this is uh, an, a sample provided by MSA to KGI and a KGI wa wa warranty agreement. A sample looks like a sample warranty agreement. And a right. summary of commercial parking list of tractor assembly project. Uh, these are the, uh, this is what is contained in the attachments. All right, thank you. Now, MS, MSA, is men, men, that's Maintenance Service Agency. Yes. Wasn't it privatized? Yes, it was. When was it privatized? 
I can't remember, maybe around 2009 or 8, I don't know, yeah. Mm. But it was privatized. Mm. It was privatized under the Ministry of Finance, divested your agency? Yes, exactly. Do you know who bought it? I don't remember, I don't remember that. All right, all right, thank you. Yeah. Let's yeah. move on. Yeah, basically that's it. All right. Um, let's have those documents. And could you move on to the debt servicing? Yes. You were giving us a report on the debt servicing yes. um, the last time you were here, yes. where we are and uh, what is outstanding. We would like to know. And if you have a write-up on that um, for the commission. I have the data unless you want me to provide a write up later, but I can give you. Give us the, give us the highlights for the records of okay. the data. The actual loan is uh, 5,833,725. That's the actual loan. Uh, the interest paid so far on the loan is $760,456. Dollars? US dollars, yes, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, the interest forecast, uh, you requested for this? Yes. Uh, $290,997 US dollars. $290,997 US dollars. This is what we would have yes. paid by the time the, uh, the, the loan the matures loan in 2026. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So in total, we are estimating $6 million, that is the principal plus the interest payments. Six million eight hundred and eighty-five thousand one hundred and seventy-nine U.S. dollars. Okay. All right. At the moment, and you said we have paid how much? Uh, so far, we have paid uh, principal. The principal payment so far is the payment on the loan itself is two million. Nine hundred and three thousand three hundred and thirty three. Two million nine hundred and three thousand three. Three hundred and thirty three. Thirty three. Yes. Three three three. And the interest paid so far I have provided it seven hundred and sixty thousand four five six, yeah. Um Okay. Can we have that document as well? Sorry, what is in that document? Oh, these are the. What are these documents that you are handing? Uh, these are the payment vouchers that payment we are vouchers. And paid, yeah. Where is your write-up? The write-up you just read from. Uh, giving there. a summary. Yes. Can we have the summary? Why are they in two envelopes? No, I, uh, is there any distinction? I just decided to s put them in separate envelopes. The principal repayments I mean, and so the... So one envelope has the principal and the other has the interest payment. Yes, yes. Could you, sorry, could you give him back these documents for him to confirm which bundle is which one? So they are not paid at the same time, interest and principal? Uh, no. Could you wait? He's going to identify which one is interest and which, which one is principal. Principal. Which one is that one, the first bundle? The, the bulky one is the interest. The bulky one is the? Interest. Interest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the summary? Did uh, you? The summary one. Yeah. Come. Could you collect the summary, please? Oh, the summary is here. Okay, sorry, it was folded over, so I didn't see. Okay, you can give him back one. Thank you.
Do you have any other th anything else that would be useful to the Commission regarding this matter? Yeah, this is a, from the Exim Bank of uh, India confirming the actual loan amount and uh, the repayment of the loan to date up to the end of up to 10th October 2017. It's from the Exim Bank of India. Could we call it a statement of account? Sorry? Could we call it a statement of account? Yes. Of the status of the loan? Yes. All right. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Jalo, this loan, as I understand it, was supposed to um, mechanize agriculture in the Gambia mm -hmm. by the setting up of this assembly plant and it, it would sort of revolving as we pay, we, we get other facilities. Is that understanding correct? Uh, no, I did not read the details. All right, you're not in a position to yeah. say anything. Mm -hmm. Now, what I would like to know is whether any portion of the proceeds of the sale of, the, of this equipment, tractors and other equipment, whether any portion was paid back to finance to assist with the debt servicing of the loan. I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you know? You are the permanent secretary of finance. Uh, well, I don't know how the arrangements are structured. Well, we, we, we expect you to know. But if you are saying you don't know, we can't help that. But we would require that you, um, you find out. Because this is a loan, all loan is managed by the Ministry of Finance, isn't it? All government loans are managed by the Ministry of Finance. Yes. All right. Now, this is a substantial loan, $5.8 million yes. Dollars yes. that we are paying for, the Gambia mm -hmm. is paying for. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we need to know what happened to the tractors and if they were sold, what happened to the money? Mm -hmm. and whether finance put in place any mechanism for making sure that the, the money, the proceeds of the tractors mm -hmm. feeds into the debt servicing arrangement. Mm -hmm. I think that that is something that the Commission would like to, you to find out. Okay, I, I, I'll try to find out. Well, because... Um, please, I, please, yes. uh, may I intervene here? I mean, if money is paid to finance, mm -hmm. finance would give a receipt, not so? Yes. And if you look into your archives, you must see those uh, receipts. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try and engage the accountant general and we see, how, if possible, whether there was such an arrangement or not. Uh, if there is an, which, if, if such arrangement? an arrangement exists, then we, we should be able which to. Which arrangement? Are you talking uh, about? That uh, the proceeds from the sale of this tractor should be paid to the government of the Gambia. Uh, and uh, if that should be the case, what was the <laughs> designated account that was provided to KGI? Yeah, but we are not talking of arrangements here. What we want to know, mm -hmm. and that is what Council has asked, is mm -hmm. whether any amount mm -hmm. has been paid against this big sum of over six million dollars. Mm -hmm. You must have a way of finding out. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That. Yeah, well, please, we want you to find out. Okay. Next time you come, you have to tell us something. Okay. I, do, I don't have any other questions for um, the permanent secretary. We will expect you to come back on Tuesday next week. Okay. You'd like to be able to at least um, have a complete picture of the the financial, well, I suppose the financial transaction itself. You know. Okay. All right. Just one comment, uh, Council. The the level of response, the quality of response we are getting from the finance ministry, has not been very impressive. Too many I don't know, too many I will check. In case PS1 doesn't know, can we have somebody from the ministry who knows? We like our questions answered, please. Maybe the records are missing, but there's probably somebody there who knows. 
a simple question like how many tractors were delivered, I mean, that should be very automatic. If you have to go back and forth to know how many tractors are there, it's either, I mean, disinterest or no ownership. We understand you may not know, but there has to be somebody either above you or below you who knows. And when we write to get somebody from the ministry, it doesn't have to be just you. It's somebody who can answer our questions. We'll appreciate the right person coming. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in a position to... I, uh, the only information I have is the, the, is the information I have just provided now. That is the only thing I know about this, uh, this project. I was not fully involved in this, so, so that's why, don't be surprised, my answers are, I don't know. He said he's not fully involved. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I, I should have ad have the document submitted. I'm now applying to have admitted the dollar credit line agreement between the government of the Republic of the Gambia and the Export-Import Bank of India and the instrument of ratification of the facility issued by the ex-president together with correspondence relating to the facility and how it was utilized, as well as the debt servicing transactions, principal and interest.
dollar credit line agreement dated 8th November 2005 between the government of the Gambia and Export Import Bank of India and related correspondence and other documents in a bundle. Admitted Mark MS 79A. Debit and payment vouchers in respect of the said line, line of credit commencing 2005 to date. Admitted Mark 79B. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Jala, you'll be required to come back on Tuesday at... Uh, sorry. Um, just just a uh, correction. For MS-79, <clears throat> the commencement date is 2008 rather than 2005. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just... One quick statement, please. Mr. Jal, um, we realize that a lot of the principal, well, the principal and interest payments is made from the Treasury main account at Central Bank um, for this credit line. Um, and then we've also heard that KGI also were responsible for the sales of the tractors. So just to reiterate, I think it should be quite simple to see if any payments were deposited at central bank's account, um, government central bank account, because it's quite important that we know um, if payments were made, please. Okay? I'll give it a priority. Okay. <clears throat> um, let me just understand. Was there a Mahindra account? Uh, honestly, I don't know a lot about this project. Mm -hmm. All right. Very well. We'll expect Sorry, we you. Can't, we can't hear you. Please. I say I don't know a lot about this project, so... Well, we'd expect you to come back on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Okay. Regarding the information that you've been required to find out. Okay. And could you also um, confirm the divestiture of MS, MSA, Maintenance Service Agency? I believe the divestiture agency was under the Ministry of Finance? Yes. Could you find out when it was divested and to whom? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. You may go. That's not possible. <coughs> I call Mr. Sadi Bubaro of the Gambia Ports Authority. Uh, is he here? Has he been here before?
Quran. Yeah. Can you hold it? You read it up to me. So. Okay. I swear by the Almighty Allah. I swear by the Almighty Allah. That the evidence I shall give to this commission. I shall give to this commission. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing. And nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me Allah. So help me Allah. We can wait for the instruction. Could you state your names, please? I am Sadiu Baro of the Gambia Ferry Service. You would like you would have to speak up much much louder than that. We are not hearing what you're saying. My name is Sadiu Baro of the Gambia Ferry Services. Gambia? Ferry, Ferry, GPA Service. Ferry Service. Where do you live, Mr. Baro? Where do you live? I live in Gunjur. Bundung? Gunjur. Gunjur. Would you, um, what position do you hold at the ferry services? I'm the logistics and maintenance coordinator. Can, can you kindly repeat that? I am the logistics and maintenance coordinator in the ferries. Logistics Service. and? You said? Logistics and? Maintenance. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you like to sit down, Mr. Barrow? Thank you. How long have you worked at the Gambia Ferry Services? 24 years. 24 years? Yeah. Where are you stationed at in, the moment? In various locations. Currently, I'm at Banjul Terminal. Banjul Terminal? Yeah. Do you know a ferry um, called Barajali? Yeah. Sorry? Yes. Um, thank you. Uh, what is the ferry Barajali? Barajali ferry was a rural ferry stationed at Farafenya Trans Gambia Ferry Crossing Point. Okay. Um, I, I, do, you, do you understand what uh, the witness is saying? You see, um, the commission has to hear what you are saying. So please speak into the mic distinctly so that we can understand what you are saying. Barajali Ferry was a ferry that was operating at Trans Gambia Ferry Crossing in Farafenya. It was operating there. Yeah. When did it last operate? At, at the cross, at the Farafenya Crossing. Maybe, maybe around 2006. Around 2006. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. We would like you to be much politer than you are, Mr. Mr. Barrow. Yeah. Okay, if you could kindly say yes. Um, I'll show you a, a photo and, if you, and would, be, would appreciate it if you can identify this photo. This was a this was a photo. You, can you identify that photo? Yes. I, yes. I can think. you tell us about it? Uh, this is Barajali Ferry loaded from Bamba Tenda going to Ilitenda, the Trans Gambia Ferry. Barajali Ferry loaded from Bamba Tenda going to Ilitenda. Going to Ilitenda. Yeah. Do you know anything about the taking of that photo? I, I asked somebody to take the picture as a souvenir personally. I, um, all right. Who, who took the photo? Uh, it's a passerby, a cameraman who visits there. I don't know. Don't uh, know. Passing cameraman. Yeah. It, you asked him to, said you asked him to take the photo the for you. for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you said it was a ferry that um, was used at the crossing and last used in about 2006. What happened to it? Uh, Barajali was, was, I was a twin partner to Games Island. Barajali was running at Trans Gambia up to 2006. 
I'm, I'm having difficulties, Mr. Mr. Barrow. Huh? I'm having difficulties. Maybe if you speak a little slower. Yes. Barajali was operating at Transgambia when James Island was here. So upon the arrival of James Island from maintenance, we sent Barajali ferry to be maintained also as James Island was did. At the time you were where? At the time I was at Transgambia in 2006. Okay. James Island is another ferry. James Island is a sister ferry to this one. So you sent it, you sent James Island down for maintenance, and when it returned, you sent the Barajali. What sort of maintenance did you send it down for? Uh, we were, they were to carry out machinery maintenance, repairs. What does that mean? Pardon what me? was wrong with it? Was anything wrong with it? The engine has aged. The, repeat what you said. The, engine the two engines have aged. Uh -huh. So we sent it to Banjul for replacement. The two uh, engines have what? The two engines that, the two engines that were on Barajali have aged. Tilled. Aged. A -G -E -D. Failed. Okay. The engines failed. Aged. Aged. <laughs> okay. A G E D. Let him talk okay. for himself. A G E. A G E. -D. Older. They had aged. They, yes. Yeah. How? Okay. How long had they been? Those engines How when old they, were they? When, they? when the ferry came in 1989, they were the engines that were serving on it. Is it off now? Yeah, it's off now. Let's, let's start again. You said the engines had aged. Yeah. Would you like to hand over the phone to the officer behind you so that we can focus on the proceedings? Yes, you said the engine had was the same one since the ferries? Uh, since the ferries were handed to Transgender in okay. 1980. So you had sent them down for this, maintenance? Yeah, Games Island first came, then followed by, upon comp a successful completion, Barajali was also sent for repair works. Was it for repair or replacement? Because you said earlier that, uh, let's be clear, was it for repair or replacement? It was uh, for repairs. It was for repairs? Yes. All right, thank you. So what happened? Actually, that was the, uh, what I know about it because I was posted at Transgambia at that time. When it came here, we have a separate team of engineers who normally works on maintenance. Did the ferry go back to Farafenya? It never did. It never returned to Farafenya? It never returned to Farafenya. Was that the last time you saw the ferry? I think the day it was being towed to Banjul. Was it the last time you saw the ferry? I could not remember the date, but it was on 2006, uh, 2006 when Samo was towing it to Banjul. Sorry, Mr. Mr. Barrow, I, I, I don't understand what you said. Could you repeat yourself? I said the last time I saw the ferry was when it was towed to Banjul. It was From, towed to Banjul? Yes. Why was it towed to Banjul? For the repair works I've earlier mentioned. Okay. It couldn't come on its own stream? No, it couldn't okay. because of the machinery conditions. All right. Um, what was the, because we want really to know at what state it was in when it was coming to Banyo. Actually. Um, in terms of um, the body itself. Yeah, structurally it was in order. Structurally it was in order. Yeah. The, super stu the superstructure did was it, in Did it look like that photo or did it, um, what did it look like? It actually, it came in this shape. It left Farafenya in this shape, coming to in Banjo. The, uh, in the shape in that photograph. Yes. Can you turn the back of the photo? What is the number on the back? SC32. SC32. Yes. It was in that, at least the body was in that shape, you said. 
That was the last thing you know about the ferry? Yes, ma. All right. Thank you. Hello? Hey. Yeah, can you help us, please, with the photograph? And tell us uh, roughly in which year was that photograph taken? Actually, it's between uh, 2006 and 2005. Sorry. Took, I took the picture. I, d I, I can't hear you. Pardon me. When was the photograph taken? The photograph was taken within the last part of 2005 and early part of the 2006. I didn't 2005, hear. 2005, last part of 2005, early 2006. Six. Thank you. One question. You are the logistics and maintenance coordinator, Mr. Barrow. Yes, sir. From a technical point of view, was yeah. that ferry seaworthy or riverworthy anymore? Actually, it was the ferry that was operating and it was seaworthy. It was still in operation? It was still in operation when Game Island arrived for it to be towed away. So after the maintenance, it could have still been used? No, it has never been maintained as far as we know. Games Island was maintained. This Marajali was sent to be maintained, but it never came back. Fantastic. Okay. Claire, thank you. All right. Very well. Thank you very much. You may leave. Thank you. You may go. Yeah. Thank you. So, what he's saying, the engine was kaput, but structure, the body was okay, and it was seaworthy. That's that's all. Um, I recall, Mr. Jobate, Deputy Managing Director, Port, witness number. Mr. Jovate, we would like to remind you that you're still on the oath. Thank you. Remind you of the oath. Thank you. Mr. Jovate, you are required to come back today regarding the joint venture. With, between the Gambia government and the Gallia in relation to the ferries, Kansala and Al Jamdu. Very well. I would like you to tell us about this joint venture and the part, Ports Authority, Gambia Ports Authority's part in this whole process of the joint venture. Yes, ma'am. I may be able to give and some. And of course, of course, you know what, what we are. Up, uh, what terms of reference is about resources? The application of Gambia Ports Authority resources at, on the directions of the office of the president, former executive. Uh, yes, ma'am. The okay. only difficulty I may have in that regard presently is that I was of the understanding that uh, we were supposed to reappear today at two thirty. Two thirty. So, yes, ma'am. 
we so don't we don't sit at two thirty. We don't sit at in the afternoons on Thursdays. So that must have been a misunderstanding. Yes, ma'am. But when I got the call this morning, we were on the verge of uh, assembling all the documentary evidence. But all the same, I may be able to give uh, an explanation as to what transpired and our involvement in the Gallia uh, I mean, uh, joint venture agreement. All right. Um, and then you compile the documents? Yes, ma'am. Um, is somebody else from your institution here? Yes, ma'am. I'm uh, with our managing director, Mr. Abdullah Chambedu. And uh, Mr. Hali Guy of uh, the Ferry Services is around, and uh, Ismail Awara, the Director of Finance at Ferries. You are and all around? They are all around, ma'am. Who dealt with this matter? Um, at the time, it was uh, Mr. Hali Guy and Abdullah Jambil. You dealt with this matter. What is your part? Um, I'm part of the management team, and I have certain information of uh, what transpired because I have access to the files. Well, you didn't deal with this? The, the joint venture? You didn't but take part in the joint Personally, operation. no. Only during the time of the arbitration. That's uh, when I was personally involved. All right. Okay, let's hear what you have to say. Then we will sp call in the other witnesses. What documents? Okay, you don't have all the documents, but you have some. Yes, ma'am. I will be able to give an explanation as to what transpired and the documentary evidence were, were on the verge of gathering them when I got the call that we No, should. what do you have? I see you looking at envelopes. What do you have? Yes, it's uh, more like a summary I had prepared at the time of the arbitration to catalog the events leading to the joint venture agreement and how it uh, came about. All right. Of course, we have to bear in mind that there is an arbitration that's ongoing. It's not yet been concluded, is it? No, it's not concluded. Okay, so we really don't want to know the issues in the arbitration as such. We just want to know the facts as they happen on the ground. Very well. All right. Um, there was a joint venture agreement between... Gallia Holdings Limited of Marshall Islands and the Republic of the Gambia, dated 5th March 2011, for the establishment, operation, and management of two ferry boats to be deployed in the Gambia. Um, this joint venture agreement was for the provision of two ferry boats, Kansala and Al Jamdu. And uh, prior to that, part of the joint venture agreement also noted that landing platforms were to be constructed prior to the arrival of the two ferry boats that were identified in the Gambia. Sometimes during the engagements with the Greek partners called Gallia Holding, the idea of a floating pontoon came into the arrangement. But in the engagements with the Gallia party, the management decided that that option was more costly than the concrete platforms. So at the time of the signing of the JVA and the decision as to which type of landing facility to be constructed, there was a lapse of 61 days, which caused a delay in a decision to construct the ramps. In the meantime, the two ferry boats that were identified in Greece were towed to Banjo, and they arrived in 2012. Construction of the platform proceeded later, and in 2013, when uh, the project was complete for concrete ramps in Banjo and Bara, and then two also at Bambatenda and Yilitenda in Transgambia, um, it was found out that the ferries cannot still dock at the platform because of the depth of the ferries. They were of 3.5 meters draft, whereas the shoreline was a draft of 1.7 meters. So there was a mismatch between the ferry and the landing facility that was designed. So uh, what, what is, you are talking about draft, so you, you need to be able to explain to, to us, you mean the depth at the bank of the river? Um, yes, at the shoreline where the ferries were supposed to dock at the shore, the draft restriction at 
No what, is a, what is a draft? A um, draft is the depth of the water to the bottom of the sea. Okay. And uh, that for the environment, it is 1.7 meters, whereas the ferry is the bottom of the hull of the ferry to the water line, the part that appears above water, is 3.5 meters. So it means that the structure of the ferry that is underwater is 3.5 meters. So with that, there was an incompatibility between the structure of the ferry and the landing facility. Thereafter, the, uh, because there was no operation, the ferries could not ply due to the incompatibility of the structures that were built. The Greek party um, filed in a suit claiming for loss of earnings against the government of the Gambia that the ferries were not operational since they were deployed to, to Banjo. And that case is still uh, proceeding at the London Court of Arbitration. I see. Well, that, that certainly is a succinct summary. How much, um, first of all, before I get to how much, it's a, it was a joint venture between, uh, you said, between Gambia government and um, this Greek company. Yes, ma'am. What was your part in the joint venture since you are a GPA? Um, the venture was structured in a manner that the shareholding was between Gallia Holdings Limited, 55%, and 45% the government of the Gambia. Now, the government of the Gambia's own 45% was shared between Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, 45%, Gambia Ports Authority, 45%, and the Minister of Finance, on behalf of the government, 10%. And this translated to how much in, uh, as far as GPA was concerned? Well, it was just structured that, uh, in that manner so that any investments that were agreed upon by the parties would be shared in that manner. But there was no initial uh, startup capital to determine the level of investments that were going to be committed for this uh, ferries project. So tell us how much the Ports Authority then contributed to equity and how much it contributed to infrastructure works. Um, the way the... Uh, joint venture was uh, construct, uh, construed is that there was a ferry services management company limited as the holding company between the government of the Gambia and Gallia. And under this ferry services management company limited, which is the holding company, there were three trading entities, i.e. Al Jamdu Ferry Services Company Limited, Kansala Ferry Services Company Limited, and Ferry Services Company Limited. Three companies. Three trading companies. Subsidiaries. Under the management company. So what's the, what was the purpose? Of you? So you had Al Jamdu Company Al -Jamdu. Limited. Yes, Al Jamdu that, as a yes. company, as a trading entity. Because the management company, it was structured that the management company would oversee these three trading companies. And that is the? Al Jamdu Ferry Services Company. What is the management company called? Gambia Ferry Services Management Company Limited. Okay, that's the management company. And then Al Jamdu is another company. It's the, it's the trading unit. Under, there were three trading units under the management company. So in all four entities were set up under the JBA. One was the managing company, which was uh, the holding company. And then there were three trading entities under the management company. You have Al Jamdu Council and what is the third trading Ferry company? Ferry Services Company. The objective was to run the other assets of the ferries that were not either Al Jamdu or Kansala. Okay, so the joint venture was to cover all the ferry services. Very well, ma'am. All right. Go on. So yes, the, even in this, um, well, that's the joint venture. Yes, 55 45. Yes, ma'am. So, in each of these individual companies, how was the shareholding structured? The same way? The, the same way, ma'am. Do you have copies of all the memorandum, yes, memoranda and articles? Yes, ma'am. But you haven't brought them. You, you couldn't compile them. Well, we are still compiling them. That's fine. We would, we would require the memorandum and articles. So, for each of these subsidiaries, the, same, the structure is the same. Yes. 55 only, 
45. Yes, yes. only that the two companies, that's the Aljamdo and Kansala, required initial investment. So there was a memorandum of agreement that was signed between the parties, i.e. government of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings, for investment to purchase the two ferries that were in these two trading companies, Aljamdo and Kansala. So apart from the joint venture agreement, there is a memorandum of agreement that covers the purchase and investments in the two trading companies, Aljamdo and Kansala. So the joint venture was for the whole, um, I suppose, um, for entities, no? and uh, endeavor between the two comp government and. Okay, all right. I I think we have the picture. So what happened? Well, the investment for the purchase uh, of Kansala was to the tune of three million five hundred and five. Thousand euros. Okay. Three million five hundred and five thousand euros, and it involved the purchase of the ferry, Kansala itself, rehabilitation at the shipyard in Greece, bunkering, towing cost to Banjo. And Aljamdo. Um, for Aljamdo, the total is three million and eighty thousand euros. Euro. Also, yes, three million and eighty thousand euros. It covered the same co it covered element. Covered the same purchase so price, rehabilitation, bunkering, and towage to Banjo. So these were second-hand ferries. Yes, ma'am. Please tell us what happened. How much did you contribute as sports? Um, I can't give the figure off head, ma'am, okay, but we are That's fine. The Just tell us, tell us what happened. Yes. Yes, we contributed 45% of this uh, total investment cost and social security 45% and Ministry of Finance acting on behalf of the government of the Gambia 10%. Then there was the construction of the marine and civil works to facilitate the operation of these two ferry boats, Aljamdo and Kamsala. And it involved extension of platforms, at concrete platforms at Banjul and Bara, and also at Bamba Tender and Yili Tender. So you don't have the figures with you? Paving works, the dredging, the consultancy design, and the total amount invested in this projects, uh, civil and marine works together, was $173,296,624. Just the, the civil, civil and works. The marine works. Civil and marine works. Yes, ma'am. What, what do you call the marine works? Uh, marine works was the structures that were built in the sea, for i.e. the concrete platforms. And, the, were extended and the civil works? Mar the civil works involved the terminal areas okay. and backup land area. This 196 million odd is for the total? Or yes, okay. yes ma'am. But we have the schedules to give a breakdown. But this is the total that was invested in these uh, civil and marine works together. Who paid for the civil and marine works? Um, this was entirely paid by the government of the Gambia. Meaning your uh, GPA and social security? Yes, GPA and social security. That's Did the Ministry of Finance Ministry contribute? Ministry of Finance, yes ma'am. So Gallia did not contribute in the marine, marine, work, marine or civil works? No, they did not contribute in this. So what did they contribute to? Um, allegedly on the purchase of the ferries, but we have the schedules to uh, prove what amounts were paid and how much the, the acquisition cost of the ferries were. Because there is a separate memorandum of agreement for the two ferry boats. And it has the details, uh, the cost buildup of how much the ferries cost and how much each party paid. Because in the JVA, there was an agreement that monies were to be paid into a dedicated account. Uh, where was this dedicated account? Um, it's an offshore account, but I don't remember the details. But it's in the joint venture agreement. It is attached to the JVA. 
but it's an offshore account. Um, you just told us how much the civil works and the marine works cost the government side. Yeah. In terms of how much money was paid by the government side for the acquisition of the council and al Aljamdu, do you have those figures? Yes, ma'am, we have them. Yes, well, how much? Um, it's already in the schedule I mentioned earlier. I don't want to guess, but we have the schedule and we have the complete breakdown of how much each party contributed. Sorry, where system. do you have it? With one of the officers outside or you yes. have to? Yes, ma'am. Since you are the one giving evidence, giving us a, at least an overview of what happened, uh, Mr. Chairman, may I apply for him to collect the schedule? Could you? Or would this be a convenient point to have a small break? Yeah, this is a convenient time now to rise. We'll be back uh, in uh, 15 minutes. Yeah.